Welcome along to our video tutorial series where we are learning how to create Minecraft worlds using Python code. In today's video I'm going to be expanding a little bit on what we learnt in our previous tutorial where we were building single blocks into our Minecraft world using code and today we're going to be looking at building multiple blocks or stacking blocks into our Minecraft world. So to get started we need to jump over to our Python editor which is Mu and we need to add in those first two lines of code that we always add in when coding in Minecraft. So the first line just reads from mcpy.minecraft import all. That's what that little asterisk means. We're importing all of the functions from a module called Minecraft. Now a module is basically a library of code written by some other smart person. We've now got access to that which will allow us to build things in our Minecraft world using code. The second line of code mc equals Minecraft with a capital M dot create and then we open and close a set of brackets. Now that line of code just gets our two apps talking to one another so Mu and Minecraft um, are basically connected now. Alright so what we want to do here is we want to build a little tower that is five blocks high. So you might remember from our previous um, video we started by using a comment. If you forget what a comment is, comments are just plain English explaining to other people who are reading your code what's actually going on within your program. So I'm going to put a hashtag here that says build a tower that is five blocks high. Now I'm going to do it the slow way first of all. This is the way you probably know how to do it. So what we would write is mc dot set block and we would right in the coordinates where we want to position that block. So if I look at my current position I can see that I'm at minus 112 on the x-axis, I'm at 10 on the y-axis and I'm at 20 on the z-axis. Okay so we put in those three coordinates telling uh, Minecraft where we want to place our block and then we need to tell Minecraft which block we would like to use. So we need to go back to our block ID list here uh, if you're in my class you'll have access to this sheet otherwise you can find this online. Now I'm just going to use the gold block again which we used in the previous video so number 41 is my block ID. You can use any block you like though. So the final number I'm putting inside these round brackets is the number 41 and then I'll close them off. Now that should place one block into our world so I'm just going to quickly save this and then test it. So that's number 3 building multiple blocks, that's what we need to call that one. And if we give it a run, I'm just going to jump backwards here, and you can see we've got one gold block at those coordinates specified. But what we want to do is we want to build it up um, basically five blocks high. So a quick way to do it is copy and paste. So I'm just going to highlight what I've written and press Control C, and I'm going to paste it in another four times. So we've now got the same function five times, now if I was to run that, we're only going to see one block because there's five blocks being placed in the exact same position. So they've just gone on top of each other, or basically over the top of each other in that one spot. What we need to change is the number 10. That's our y-axis. So remember the y-axis in Minecraft is up and down. And we want to go up into the air. So we need to make that number 10 go up. So I'm going to make it 11 on the next line, then 12, then 13, and then 14. Everything else is going to stay the same, so we're always going to be at minus 112 on the x-axis. We're not moving off that. Uh, the z-axis is always going to be at 20, and we're always going to be using block 41, which is the gold block. The only thing changing is this number here, uh, the number 10, and it's going up one each time. So we should, when we run this, see five gold blocks stacked on top of one another. So I might step back a bit here so you can see this happen. So I'll just stop and run my code, and bang, we've now got five blocks on top of each other. So that's an easy way of building multiple blocks on top of each other in um, Minecraft. But there's a better way to do it, and that's what I'm going to show you now. Imagine you wanted to build a tower that was, say, 50 blocks high. You don't want to sit there and copy and paste that line of code 50 times and then individually change the y-axis each time. That would take forever. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete what we've got. Okay, we can do with this all in one line of code. It's a little bit confusing, uh, but when I explain it to you, it will make a bit more sense. 
Now I'm just going to move to a different set of coordinates. Let's say here will do. So we can build just a little bit away from what we've already got. So we're still going to build a tower that's five blocks high. We're just going to use a lot less code. So what we need to do is write mc.set blocks. This is the first change. You can see the S on the end of this function. By writing set blocks instead of set block, it tells Python or tells Minecraft, sorry, that we want to build multiple blocks into our Minecraft world. Okay, now we open up brackets like usual and we put in our X, Y, and Z coordinates where we want this uh, tower to be built. So if I'm looking at my position up here, I've got minus 104 for the X axis, I've got 9 for the Y axis, and 21 for the Z axis. But we don't stop there. What we need to do now is tell uh, Minecraft when to stop building our blocks. So we put in our starting coordinates. What we need to do now is put in our end coordinates. So I'll show you what I mean by that. We need to put three more numbers, the X, Y, and Z coordinates again, where we want to stop building. So if I put minus 104 again for the X axis, because I don't want that to change. For the Y axis, we do want it to change. Okay, we want it to go up to number 14. So that's going up another five places into the sky. And for the Z axis, I'm going to keep it at 21. So let's just put 21 in there. Now the final thing we put in is the block ID. So remember, we're using block 41, which is that gold block. So just put that at the end and close off your brackets. So I told you that's a little bit confusing, so I'll just quickly recap. Remember, we're using a new function now called mc.setBlocks. It has the S on the end. We put in the three starting coordinates to begin with, our X, Y, and Z coordinates, like we usually do. Okay, we're getting pretty good at that now. The next three numbers, though, are when we want to finish building our tower. So where do we want it to finish building? Um, and then the final number is just our block ID. So let's give this a run and hopefully we see a little tower. If I just move back a little bit here, a little tower, pretty similar to that one. Let's see if it gets built. There we go. So that worked pretty well. One, two, three, four. We've actually gone up six blocks, but that's okay. You can see that we have built that tower. Let's try and add to that now. Okay, we know by changing the y-axis numbers, we can go up in the sky. But what if we want to move and make it, say, two rows high? So we're going to have two rows next to each other. So I'm going to have minus 104 here for the x-axis, and then I'm going to have minus 105 over here for my finishing point on the x-axis. Let's see what that does. There we go. It adds a second row to our little tower. What if we want to go along the z-axis now? Let's make it even bigger. So our z-axis starts at position 21. Let's make it go all the way over to, say, 24 and give it a run. Watch it in the distance here. You can see now you've got quite a big tower getting built just by changing a few coordinates. Now what if we want to make it go miles in the sky? Let's go, instead of, we know we start at 9 on the y-axis. Let's take it all the way up to 59. So we're going 50 blocks high in the sky. This might take a sec to run, but there you go. You can see it's gone 50 blocks high in the sky, and we can fly up there by double pressing spacebar and going for a bit of a fly. You can get at the top of your tower. There you go. So we're 50 blocks high in the sky now, and you can fall all the way off as well. Bang. So that is how you add multiple blocks into your Minecraft world, just using one single line of code. So remember, for one single block, we just use the set block function. But for multiple blocks, we use the set blocks function. Okay, it'll take a little bit of practice, um, but see if you can go and build a few little towers around the place. And I will catch you in the next video.